In this video, we will learn how you can automatically send a WhatsApp message on new submission in card. So let's say you want every time there is a new submission in card, it could be regarding anything, let's say a lead submission. So now you want to send a WhatsApp message to that lead acknowledging their submission. So we are going to automate this entire process using Pavily Connect. Come to my screen to see how we do this. To automatically send a WhatsApp message on new card form submission, let us first go to Pabili's website. You can see the landing page of Pabili. On the top right, you can see two options, sign in and sign up free. Well, if you sign up free, you will get free tasks every month. So do not forget to sign up. Since we already have an account, we will just sign in. Pabili Connect. On the top right, you will see a create workflow button. It will ask you to name. We will simply write card to WhatsApp and create. Now it will show you two windows here, trigger and action. Trigger is when this happens, action says do this. So entire automation process would be based on these two steps trigger and action. Let us understand this with the help of an example. A trigger can be when an order is placed, an action can be add the order details in a Google Sheet. In our case, a trigger can be whenever there is a new form submission here in card, an action can be send a WhatsApp message to the user. So let us begin and select card as our trigger application. Now the trigger event would be new submission. Now you will see it has generated a webhook URL like this. A webhook URL is basically a link that connects two applications. So we are going to copy this webhook URL and follow these steps so as to know how we are going to set up this webhook URL. So let us read the first instruction. Log into card account and click on new side button. All right. So we have already logged into my card account and you can see this is the dashboard here and I have created two forms there. You can see the integration form and the contact form. In case you haven't already created forms on the top right, you will see a new side button. You can just click there and proceed with your forms. Coming back to Pabli, you will see now we have to select the form here. All right, so we will be working on this form. So let us select this form here. All right, this is the form that I've created. And now when I click here in the form, you will see on the right hand side, a menu will pop up. Now let us see what we have to do here. So set type to custom and select send to URL from the drop down. All right, we have to select the type as custom. And from the drop down, we have to click on send to URL. Now let us see what more it needs. Paste the above URL, that means this webhook URL in the URL field and click on done button. So let us copy this webhook URL, come back to this form. And here in the URL section, you will see there is this already URL that was given. So we are going to first remove this and now paste the new URL. Now let us just click on done. And now on the top, you will see a menu there on the top, a menu bar. So click here on this publish this site button. Let us click there. And now just click on publish changes. So this webhook has been saved here. All right. Okay. So now coming back to Pabli Connect, you will see it is waiting for a webhook response. So now we will have to do a test submission. We will have to go to our card form, the one where we integrated, where we set up this URL. So we will go to that form and do a test submission or dummy submission and see if Pabli is able to capture those form details or not. All right. So I have opened the form here in my incognito mode. You can see this is the form here. So I'm just quickly going to refresh this form. As I've said, a fresh integration, fresh URL there. So now let us just fill in these dummy details. And I've filled in this form. You can see the name Remo Dummy, then email address Remo at Pablitudes and the contact number. And since this is just for testing and trial purpose, I've used such names like Remo Dummy. Now let us just submit the form here. 
and you will see response accepted. Now let us go to our Pabli's page and see if it is able to capture the response. And yes, before even I could finish the line, you can see the response. Your Pabli did capture the response. Here is the email address. You can see Remo at Pablitudes, then the mobile number of Remo, then Remo's full name, which is Remo Dummy. Now we have to send Remo a WhatsApp message acknowledging their submission. All right, they signed up. So we will be sending them a WhatsApp message. So here we will select WhatsApp Cloud API as our action application. For the action event, we will select send template message, connect, add new connection. And now you will see it needs a few details here like token, phone number, ID, and WhatsApp business account ID. So for this, I will take you to my dash dashboard here, to my developers page. You can see this is my developers page dashboard here. Now on the left hand side, you will see various options like dashboard settings, roles, then in the products you will see, again, webhooks, Facebook login, WhatsApp. So let us select the WhatsApp dropdown and click on getting started. Now here it will show you all the keys and tokens. Right on the top, you will see temporary access token. Let us just copy this Come back to Pabli and paste the token. Right next to temporary access token, you will see a warning that this token will expire in 23 hours. That is because this is a temporary access token. And once the token expires, your workflow will stop running. So don't you worry, we have a fully fledged video on how you can generate a permanent access token. You can find its link below in the description box. All right. Now let's see what, what else it needs. Now it needs a phone number ID. Again, we will come back to developers page. And if you scroll down a bit, you will see phone number ID. Just copy this and paste it. And now it needs WhatsApp business account ID. Again, we will go to developers page. Right next to phone number ID, you will see WhatsApp business account ID. Copy this. Come back to Pabli and paste it. And you will see it's connected here. And therefore, it has fetched all the templates that I created in my WhatsApp account, WhatsApp Cloud API account. You can see here all these templates were there. So I would be working on new new leads sign up. All right. So basically a template is a WhatsApp message that would be sent to the person or user. So I'll show you, I'll give you the glimpse of that template message here. Here you can see, hi, then the person's name will come who we are sending this message to. Thanks for signing up. Welcome to here is the your company's name will come basically. And then we are so lucky to have you. And you will, you will be among the first to hear about new arrivals, big events and special offers. This is basically, this template is basically a message that we will be sending to the user, to the person, to Remo here who has signed up, acknowledging their signing in and informing them about their offers. All right. That from next time, if there is a new launch or new product or anything else special offer, they would be soon informed. All right. So after select, selecting the template name, now we have to give a few details here. Recipient mobile number, all right. So we are going to map recipient mobile number from here, from card details here. But before we map in these details, you must be thinking where exactly are we getting these card submission details here from. So for that, I will take you to step one, where we integrated cards with Pabli, did a test submission, submitted a dummy form, Pabli captured those form details here and Pabli has brought exactly same details here in the WhatsApp step. So that's how we are going to map it. So we will map the mobile number and let us read the help text as well. Enter the recipient mobile number with country code but without plus sign example this. So make sure that the WhatsApp number that you have has your country code. In our case it is 91. All right. You can have your own country code here. Now it needs body field one. So let us see what body field one is. Hi. So here basically the recipient's name will come the person who we are sending this message to. So we would be sending this message to Remo dummy. Okay. So here is the name here. Now let's say what body field two is. So body field two would be welcome to. All right. This is, this is going to be your company's name basically. So I would simply write 
as it is going to remain same for all the messages. So we have mapped in all the details here. Now before I click on save and send test request, I would like to tell you a quick thing about mapping. So these mapped in fields like in you can see here recipient mobile number and body field one that is the name of the recipient. These mapped in fields from next time will automatically be updated. So what will happen is let's say next time there is a new submission a new lead sign up here in card. Pavli captures the response and then WhatsApp cloud API these mapped in fields like the recipient's name and the recipient's mobile number these mapped in fields from next time will automatically pick the new data and you will not have to do it manually all right now let us just click on save and send test request and you will see we have received the response here is the one now let me take you to remo's whatsapp account and see if they have received any such message here is their account and this is the message Hi Remo Dummy, thanks for signing up. Welcome to Pabli. We are so lucky to have you and you will be first to hear about a new arrival, special offers and so on. So th these were the fields that we mapped in, name we mapped in, right? And the contact number we mapped in. So this means we have successfully integrated our WhatsApp Cloud API and card using Pabli Connect. Not only this guys, you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with the help of Pabli Connect. For any queries, you can visit forum.pabli.com. Our team will definitely answer your queries. You can also visit our website on www.pabli.com slash connect. For latest updates, you can also join our Facebook group. Share this video with your friends and help them automate their businesses.